Joey here, Eat Sleep Box from Preet, and still Gavin Gwynn. How are you feeling after that one? Yeah, brilliant, and still, um, first defence uh, in Swansea, you know, uh, really good. Um, first couple of rounds, he was rough, tough, tough, and uh, using his head a lot when he, um, trying to cut me with his head, I think he was, trying to unsettle me, but um, I'm experienced now, I knew what he was going to try and do, um, and then after like four or five rounds, I think I heard him in the fourth with a body shot. Um, I thought I just went back on the jab then and start like making him miss and I engage on times and then go back to the jab and box a bit. Just do I just done what I wanted to do really. Just enjoyed the night, enjoyed twelve rounds. Um, I knew he was tough. I knew he was going to be tough. Uh, I hurt him loads of times with a body shot. I was hurting my hands on top of his head like, but um, it was really tough opponent. But, but I found it quite comfortable, and enjoyable. Like um, it was nice to be back in front of the crowd. Really, yeah. Was there, was there any surprise really? Because Jack Keith was a bit of a, a bit of an unknown quantity. People didn't really know a lot about him, and probably expected you to blow him out a little bit. Was there any surprise that he stuck it out with you? Do you think? No, I knew he was going to be tough. Um, like a couple of boys have said, he's this is his world title on duty. Um, I knew he was going to be tough, um, but he, he just tried to be rough with me, using his head a lot, like the the side of my face. Oh, he kept and my my uh, lip there, split open with his head. Not his punches didn't hurt at all. It was just his head, just constant use of the head. He was just roughing up. But as soon as I got back to my boxing, um, I didn't think I lost a round. If I'm honest, it was nice nice night's work, like twelve rounds in the bank. Scorecard reflected a really wide, you know, wide decision. Almost going to look like an easy evening for you. But those are people that watched. Obviously, it wasn't all your own way. He had his moments. But you want to put that behind you now. Moving forward, I've heard you mention there's British title, defending the Commonwealth, the European. Where do you want to go next? I just want the big fights. Um, I'm always in entertaining fights. They, 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 I'm never in a boring fight. So I think I deserve these big fights and these big belts. Um, just hope these, hopefully, you know, these big promoters like pick us up like this. I just need it now. Um, I'm in my prime now as well, so I want to make everything count these last couple of years now. I'm, I want to make it count and win the big titles, win the big fights. I, I, I'm busting for it. I can't, I can't wait till after Christmas now to see what the future holds for myself. Yeah. You fought behind closed doors. You're now back in front of the crowds. Obviously, you want to get back out in front of the crowds. Have you got a time frame in mind? Do you want to get back out maybe February, March, or are you going to try and just see what turns up? Yeah, it'd be nice to get out in February, March. Um, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off now because I've been training flat out um, for like nine months. Um, giving dates and then not giving dates, so I've just been on and off training, so I think my body needs a rest now, so I'm going to have a couple of weeks off. Um, enjoy Christmas because I didn't have a Christmas last year. And then February, March, and... Um, get back out I know I'm mandatory for the British title so that'd be nice like um, I don't know Cardiff show or like a headline somewhere I, I'm busting for like a, to fight again now no, I'm talking about it now I want to fight again in December but I, I just gonna leave my body heal up and um, yeah give my body some time to heal and um, we'll go again February March and finally then, you're a full-time fighter now, full-time athlete, fantastic sponsors behind you. I know there's too many to list and too many to thank, but were you happy with what you were able to do tonight as a full-time fighter? Did it feel like there was more in the tank, you had more in your arsenal? Was you just genuinely happy with what you did? Yeah, um, a massive thank you to all my sponsors, um, all my full-time sponsors, the fight sponsors. Like, just want to say a massive thank you without them. I, this wouldn't be possible. I'd just be working. I probably wouldn't be boxing anymore. So, just want to say a massive thank you to them. But yeah, you could see that this, the the first couple of rounds a bit of ring rust. But then, as soon as I started getting into my rhythm, uh, I'm always in. Uh, I'm always in good fights. It's like what I said in the telly: uh, maximum violence. So, I just love it. I just love how to tear it up. Yeah. So, I've taken too much of your time. I know I'm holding you back from a nice post-fight meal. So, Gav, thank you so much for your time. All the best. Have a lovely Christmas. Nice one, and you. Thank you very much.